Hey, this is Lid Shaw with Recording Studio Rockstars, and I am here at Roswell Pro Audio Microphones with Mr. Matt McGlynn. McGlynn. Matt McGlynn, nice to meet you, everybody. Matt, it's great to meet you. I've heard great things about you and about Thank Roswell you. and your microphones. Um, tell us a little bit more about who you are and what you guys do here. Sure, yeah. So my story starts, actually, and I'm not going to go on forever and ever, but uh, a lot of people who are into microphones know my first project, which was called RecordingHacks.com, which was, hacks. yeah. So the idea of that was like Wikipedia for microphones. So if you wanted to find a ribbon mic, you'd go there and you type in ribbon mic and it would show you all of them. Not just the ones you can buy today, that's what the store website would show you, but it would show you all the ones that maybe you could still find on eBay. And so I became a student of microphones and I learned a lot about them and I was blessed to, to meet the guys who were designing some of the thousand and, and higher dollar mics. And uh, because I was advertising their stuff for free, they were very generous with their time and expertise and taught me a lot. And so I turned that into a business, uh, I turned that experience into a business where I sold upgrade parts for microphones. So the idea of that was you would buy an inexpensive microphone off of eBay for 50 bucks or $100, and then I would sell you a capsule or a circuit that would make it better. And so that is a business called microphoneparts.com. And cool. that's still out there and, and really successful. Um, and so then enough people said, well, why don't you just build microphones? And I finally said, okay, maybe there's something there. So we treat the mic parts business as the sort of R&D lab. We take the best of what we've learned there and turn it into Roswell products. So Roswell products are not kits. You don't have to build it. You don't have to solder. They come complete with accessories and a warranty and a logo and all of that stuff. So what I was May saying I to you... That one? May I, may I feel that one? Yeah. So this is our, our first model. It's nice and weighty. Yeah, I love that. So what I was saying before is, so this is our first model. It's called the Mini K47. And what's great about it is it doesn't sound like every other microphone in its price point. A lot of my, so the, the price point on this is $299 street price. And at that price, what you normally get is something that's really bright and hyped and aggressive. And if you take one of those over bright microphones and you plug it in to your guitar, or you, you plug in your guitar and you're recording through that, at first you think, man, that sounds great. It's so crystal clear. I can hear every detailed note. And about a half an hour later, you have a headache because it's like a sonic ice pick in your ear. And, uh, and so we didn't make that mic. We made one that sounds much more balanced and full. And so, um, so we, we put a lot of care into this. There's a, a, a large diaphragm capsule here, despite the mic's small size. The capsule that's in here is based after the one in the, in the U47, the most famous vocal microphone ever made. Uh, all those pictures of Frank Sinatra with the giant microphone. The capsule in that is very similar to the capsule in this. Not to say this is a clone, this is not pretending to be a U47 tube mic at all, but we do have that capsule in here. And so we have this heavy steel body, which is robust. It's got a lot of weight to it. We use through hole components, good quality parts. Those are German capacitors, uh, a very low noise JFET, um, just good parts throughout. I can't show you the capsule because I don't have a screwdriver with me, but the point is it's really solidly made. Uh, the JFED is biased. Uh, there's a little screw there that is turned to set the operating parameters for that transistor. So I know that you said it's not a, F a 47 or trying to be, but I'm familiar with the FET 47 too. Is there some similarities at all in how it functions? There's a little similarity, yeah, because the secret of condenser mics is what, what the mic sounds like is basically the capsule. The capsule determines the sound of the mic. And then, of course, the construction of the grill and the size of it, there are acoustic effects there. Just like when you talk like this, it sounds different because there's a filter in front of the source. So the screen there is doing the same thing. That's a, a, an acoustic filter. So that has an effect as well. Anyway, um, now, I know one of, one of the things that I have experienced with a FET 47, for example, is the ability to put it on a kick drum or on a guitar amp. Right. Um, some singers it's great for. Right. Are they, does, will this handle some of those same dynamics? So um, I would not necessarily put it on kick drum okay. because we use a different circuit and, uh, and we actually designed this as a singer-songwriter mic. And so we cranked up the sensitivity so that when you sing into it, you don't get a lot of hiss. Um, uh, but what it does do well at is it's, it's good on vocals, but uh, people have been loving it on drum overheads. Uh, on guitar cabinet, on acoustic guitar. We've got an endorsee who, who made a video for us where he said, this is my secret weapon on acoustic guitar. Nice. And those guys have all kinds of microphones. And then they heard this one and they said, oh, that's it. This is our new acoustic guitar mic. That's great. Um, it's amazing on electric guitar, all different styles from hollow body to 
Balotelli to Strat uh, through you know, a Marshall Stack or Bogner or whatever. Uh, so it's, it's really great on guitars. Uh, we've got a studio in LA, uh, Plastic Dog Studios, loves these on their pianos. Um, we've got a guy, one of our endorsees plays uh, Dobro, and he said it's the best Dobro mic he's ever heard. So it just, it ends up being a win for instruments. Well, at $299, that's a pretty great price. That's yeah, a, that's, it, a, that's an affordable mic, you know? Right, and it, my, our hope is that because it's so, uh, it's got so many applications on which it shines, you can buy the one and you can use it on your guitar, then you can sing into it, then you put it up on the bass cab. So we have this, this new video on uh, YouTube, it's uh, the Jimi Hendrix song, Little Wing, and it's uh, a power trio, it's LA session players, but we use this mic on drum overheads, guitar cab, and bass cab, and the video sounds amazing. Is that the one I was just watching yeah, over here too? It's, it's in our booth as well, but yeah, it's up on YouTube, just uh, you can probably do a YouTube search for Little Wing, Roswell, and. Hopefully that will come up. Okay, cool. Well, I listened to some of that video, and the very first thing I noticed was that was that the drums sound great. Yeah. So I want to I want to hear that on top of drums, you know, great. for sure. Yeah, great. Well, so do you want to show us a couple other things here yeah, as well? Just one more. All right. So this is our sort of upscale model. This is called the Delphos. It's also a large diaphragm mic. Uh, we build this by hand in Sebastopol, California. Uh, it's got a three-stage enamel paint job, which I like to call out because it's actually a color from the Porsche catalog. So you, if you have a Porsche in dark blue, that's what this color is. Now you can have the mic that matches. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, it, they're painted uh, in California, you know, down the street from us, and uh, we build the circuit boards in-house. It's got a very specially selected capsule um, and, and a very specially constructed circuit, and it's contoured for vocals. And uh, it, it's amazing on female vocals. Uh, other folks love it on other sources as well. Uh, one of our uh, super fans is a guy called Glenn Fricker, and he's got a very popular YouTube channel, Spectre Media Group. He's in Canada, um, and he loves it on heavy guitar cab. So he records metal all day, and this is his new go-to metal guitar cab mic. Nice. And, uh, and his old metal guitar cab go-to mic was actually the Mini K47 until we sent him this, and now he loves those on drum overheads and he's got this on his guitar cabs. So uh, again, it's a mic, it's a little higher price point. This one's $899, although there's not many handmade in California mics for $899. I don't know of any, actually, other than this one. Is there a story behind the name? It sort of makes me think of ancient Greece. Um, I do love the Greece connection, but uh, Delphos is actually the name of a city in, I want to say, Kansas, and I hope I'm not wrong about that, but it's a city where uh, the aliens landed. So the Roswell name is a play on the whole Area 51 alien invasion thing. There's a flying saucer in our logo. So, uh, so all of our upscale mics are named after cities where the aliens have landed. Awesome. I like it. I, I'm a, I like that. That's a fan. Let's go find ourselves a, a, like a pewter saucer and go throw it across the room and get a photo of it while we're here. Right <laughs> Thanks, all right. Thank Great you very much. Man. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks, everybody. See you, rock stars.